In this video, let's see the next numerical problem based on the concept of simplification by substitution in the chapter of inverse trigonometric functions. I have already written the problem for you people and it is advisable to go through the previous video before watching this video since the question is the second illustration on the same topic. Now, simplify tan inverse x upon under root a square minus x square is given to me and the range is minus a to a. We know that when the substitution is of the case of under root a square minus x square, we are supposed to substitute in what manner? We learnt in the table. So, let x is equal to a sin theta is what we need to do. Now, the question changes to tan inverse x replaces by a sin theta upon under root is there, under root remains as it is, a square as it is, x replaces again by a sin theta becomes a square sin square theta. Now from the denominator what happens, a square comes out in the under root becomes a, it happens tan inverse a sin theta upon a square common 1 minus sin square theta in the under root. 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta. A square from the under root comes out to be A cancels. So, some modification is there. My question now becomes sin theta upon under root 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta in the root becomes cos theta. Now, sin theta upon cos theta is what? It is tan theta. So, tan inverse tan theta. Tan inverse tan theta. Tan inverse and tan gets nullified. Theta is remaining. Theta is the answer. But can we remain the answer in theta? No, we cannot keep up the answer as theta only. We need to modify it. What is theta from the first step? Theta is nothing but as x upon a is equal to sin theta. So, my theta is what? Theta is equal to sin inverse x upon a from the question. Now, from the substitution, now theta is the answer. So, ultimately the answer is what? It is nothing but as sin inverse x upon a. This is the answer. So, what did we do? We basically substituted since we remembered that yes, in these type of questions where we have under root a square minus x square, you need to substitute x as a sin theta and then we moved about the question. In the last we obtained theta, we substituted the value back as sin inverse x upon a.